In this problem, we are provided with two operators, A and B, and they are defined by this particular definition. Now we need to check the linearity. So let's first uh, state the linearity property. So suppose that we have an operator, which is given by operator O, then the property of linearity states that if this O x on the linear combination of two functions given by c1 times f1 of x plus c2 times f2 of x then it must be equals to c where c1 and c2 are constant coefficients so c1 times operator o acting on the function f1 of x plus c2 times operator o acting on the function f2 x so we'll use this property to check whether a and B are linear or not. Let us start with operator A. So here it's defined as operator A. When it operates on the function psi of x, then it gives us the function itself plus x. So we will try to check whether if the operator A is linear or not. Now to do that, now we will consume that our function psi of x is given by the linear combination of two functions f1x and f2x so that is given as c1 times f1 of x plus c2 times f2 of x okay now we will do let's apply the operator a on both sides so we have a, a operating on psi of x so that's equals to a operating on c1 times f1 of x plus c2 times f2 of x beginning with the left hand side so a operating on psi of x so that's the definition so that's the function itself psi of x plus x and that's equals to so here we will start with an assumption that our a is already linear we assume that a is linear this is an assumption if it is linear then then operator a operating on the linear addition of these two functions f1x and f2x will give us c1 times operator a operating on the function f1 plus c2 times operator a operating on the function f2 of x fine now we have psi of x plus x so psi of x is given by this particular value so we'll substitute it here so we have c1 times f1 of x plus c2 times f2 of x. So this is the value of psi of x plus this term x. And that's equals to c1 times. Now what we have, now we have operator a acting on the function f1 of x. If we use this definition, then this should give us the function itself, which is f1 of x plus x added to c2 times now we have operator a operating on the function f2 of x so if we use this definition then we have the function itself which is f2 of x plus the extra term x now if, uh, we expand this though so we should get c1 times f1 of x plus c2 times f2 of x plus c1 times x plus c2 times x so this is simply c1 plus c2 multiplied to x and on the left hand side we have c1 times f1 of x plus c2 times f2 of x plus x if we compare both sides we see that the first terms match the second terms also match but it's the third term which is not matching with each other no we mean so the left hand side uh, is not equals to the right hand side hence operator a is not linear so this assumption is also wrong so that means a cannot be linear so let's try out with the second operator which is b so we have operator b acting on the function psi of x now this time this gives us a different sort of result so we have derivative of psi with respect to x plus two times the function psi of x so we'll again begin with the same value for psi of x which is as the linear combination of two function f1 of x and f2 of x 
then we'll operate b on both sides so where b operating on psi so that's equals to b operating on c1 times f1 of x plus c2 times f2 of x so b operating on psi so that's the definition so we'll use it so we have derivative of psi with respect to x plus 2 times psi which is equals to again we will suppose that our b is linear in nature so that we can say c1 times b operating on f1 of x plus c2 times b operating on f2 of x fine so we have d psi of dx now what we can do in place of psi we can use the value c1 times f1 of x plus c2 times f2 of x so let's write it down here c1 times plus 2 times equals to c1 times so we have operator b operating on f1x so we can use this definition but what we'll have we should get derivative of f1 of x with respect to x plus 2 times the function itself so that will be f1x plus c2 times derivative with respect to x of the function f of 2 of x plus 2 times f2 of x now let's expand all the terms we have d dx of c1 of f1 of x so this will be c1 times d dx of f1 of x plus c2 times d dx of f2 of x plus 2 c1 times f1 of x plus 2 c2 times f2 of x and that's equals to c1 times rate of change of f1 of x with respect to x plus 2 c1 f1 of x plus c2 times d dx of f2 x plus 2 c2 times f2 of x and if we compare both sides we see that the left hand side expression all the terms in the left hand side they are equal to each terms on the right hand side so that means our assumption b is linear was correct so we can say that operator b is linear so we have so a so a turned out to be not linear whereas b turned out to be linear right so this is how we can check the linearity of given operators thank you